And we were on. Hi guys, how you doing? Let me introduce myself. My name is Logan and welcome to my channel. Timeless Personal Growth and Development. Attraction Tips for Men, Episode 2. And we're talking about a really important attraction tool that men absolutely need. And that is your ability to handle stress. And your ability to handle stress goes hand in hand of how a woman will feel about you. Because guess what? Especially in long-term relationships when a woman decides to, okay, I'm going to bond with this guy, I'm going to invest in this guy, I'm going to put all my reproductive investments into this guy, and we're going to have children together and all this. She's counting on you to lead the ship. She's counting on you because counting on you to not get stressed out in certain situations. Of course you're gonna get stressed out in certain situations. That's just normal. You're just a human being. But it's it's your ability to be able to cope with it and be okay with it and just basically not lose your shit because it goes into a, a woman's sense of security. Just like the ap last episode I did talking about physicality, your physique goes into a woman's sense of security. Your ability to handle stress goes into your sense of security. So if you have the stress coping mechanisms or tolerance of, a, of an adolescent and when pressure and stress mount in your life and your inability to control your emotions, your inability to control your temper, goes goes into a woman's brain of like and goes into a woman's brain thinking that damn I don't think that's this guy may be the best option for me I don't think he can handle high stress situations with me with the kids like for example what if you're on a road trip with the family and you got the kids in the back for a long road trip and the kids are screaming they're tired they're stressed out they're tired of being in the car you hit a pothole, you bust a tire, crap, and I gotta change the tire. The kids are screaming, they're fed up, they just wanna get to whatever destination you're going to because they wanna eat, they need to go to the bathroom, but you can't because why? You busted a tire, so what do you gotta do? Like, and everyone's putting on pressure on you to kind of like get us out of the situation. You're gonna have a lot of pressure. You're gonna get angry at you're gonna get angry at the kids, you're gonna get angry at the wife. Or you're just gonna handle your business. Calm yourself down, figure out what you need to do, and then just do it. It's a re very, very important uh, selective process that women go goes through. It's like like they'll test you. Women will test you and to sense your ability of handling stress and swine in especially in the beginning stages of dating, to go out and be in certain stressful situations. Be in those stressful situations so they know what kind of man you are. So they know that you are very capable of handling yourself in high pressure, sometimes dangerous situations. It all goes back to our tribalistic days is because a man's ability back in tribalistic days to handle stress came at a life and death situation. It was based on security. A man back in tribalistic days couldn't handle high amounts of stress and fold. What's going to happen? Guys in the next tribe are going to kill them and kill their kids and kill the wife. So it basically means that, well, your, your ability to handle high amounts of stress goes into her sense of security for her. She's gonna feel secure, okay. He can handle a lot of different situations, handle himself under high, high amounts of pressure, whether it's financial pressure, whether it's physical danger, whatever it is, getting, getting yourself out of maybe a natural disaster situation, that she knows, wife, girlfriend knows that Yep, he's going to protect the kids. Oh, he's going to protect me. Oh, it's okay. 
we're secure with this guy. So she feels comfortable investing it into you because you've developed certain coping mechanisms. Well, what would what would be a good coping mechanism, for example? God damn it, I go into this every single video and I can relate it to so many different things, your ability to handle stress, your ability to have, feel better about yourself, about your life, of finding direction, blah, 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 finding purpose, building a sense of self. It's the same thing over and over again. Go to the goddamn gym and start working out. Something as simple as that. Is the days that you've had long days at work and you go and you, oh, you don't feel like going to the gym, but you put that pressure and you put that stress on yourself to go to the gym, that's testing your ability to handle high amounts of stress and high amounts of pressure. There's something wrong with the lighting here. Hold on a second. Okay. I don't know if that fixed it. We'll see. Yeah, so being able to handle high amounts of pressure, high amounts of stress, it goes into the gym. Th think about what you're doing in the gym, guys. High amounts of stress on your body. And then there are days where, man, you really don't feel like doing it. But, man, you, after a long day of work, seven, eight hours of work, and you go to the gym for two hours, you just, you just proved to yourself that you were able to h handle high amounts of stress. People all day answering emails, people pulling you in different directions. And you're able to come home at the end of the day and still decompress. And like, no matter what happened at work, you're able to keep that at work. Don't bring work home with you and just leave it there. That's a coping, coping mechanism. So wife, girlfriend knows that when you come home at the end of the day, nope, I'm here. I'm present. I just went to the gym. I feel great. I'm ready to do what do what we need to do at home. Let's make dinner. That's good. Di have a great dinner. Put the kids to bed and do what we got to do. Your your ability to handle stress. To me, honestly, I think it's to me it's the most important one. Uh, your physical physique, when it comes to your attraction to women, is is very important too. But I think your your ability to handle stress goes into the more the long-term aspect of dating, not necessarily the, the short-term. Physical physique can have the short-term and the long-term, but if you're looking at high amounts of stress, you're looking more of a long-term investment of a relationship. And yeah, that's a, that, that's a quality and a trait and, and man that you're going to need to have because you know, if a woman decides to tie herself to you for long-term investment, for long-term security and provisioning, and for child rearing, your your ability to ha handle high amounts of stress has got to be top tier, has got to be sky high, and you have to have really good coping mechanisms and the good mindset to go into it. Because if man, if you don't, she's gonna question. If you're easily triggered. If you easily get, you know, fall under stress or fall apart, she's going to question if you're the right guy for her and the right guy to raise her children. Because goddamn, raising kids is one of the most stressful things you could do. Are you guys up for the challenge? Well, if you are, you better have damn good coping mechanisms of stress. And the best one, I say it over and over, Go to the goddamn gym and start working out. COVID's not an excuse. Go to the gym and start working out. It'll help your ability to handle stress and find things you enjoy. And no matter how busy you are, guys, no matter how busy you are during the day, find time for yourself and that's going to help you decrease stress. And every time that you want to angry and you're frustrated and you just want to come home and you just want to talk about your day of how frustrated and upset you are and you just want to fall apart and just like mm, and whine and complain i'm like save that that energy and those feelings save that for the goddamn gym don't save that for when coming home at the end of the day save it for the gym
Save it for other aspects of your life. Because you're coming home and you're complaining and you're whining every day. I mean, I mean, the kids are going to come home and whine every day, but that's okay. They're kids. And if you're coming home and doing the exact same thing, she's going to see you no different than she sees the kids. Just a, she just has a, you know, another child in the house, just a big child. Complaining, complaining about his day and not knowing how to handle his own business it is crucial to me. Like, like I said, the most important aspect of an attraction cue for a woman is your ability to handle stress and to be okay and be able to smooth things over. Even when everybody else is stressed, the kids are stressed, you're stressed, family staff is stressed. You know? Your uh, father-in-law is stressed, mother-in-law, your mom, whatever, every, everyone's stressed. But you're the only one in that room that's able to remain calm and be able to calm the entire room down. Who are they going to look to as their leader, as the alpha? It's going to be you. Because you're the one calming the room. You're, you're the one being calm in a time of chaos. That's a really strong trait. That's a leadership trait. Especially if you're a father. And especially if you're like a husband. And even if you're just not even married yet. Whatever it is. Your ability to handle stress in times of chaos. When everybody else is chaos. You're going to be the shoulder that everyone's going to lean on. To help make them feel better. Because they trust you. They look for you for security. Because you're the one that doesn't crack under pressure. Or maybe you do crack under pressure, but you find ways to crack in maybe other aspects that people don't see it. Because you know how to handle your business. You know how to handle this. You know how to handle your mind. You know how to handle your body. You know how to handle your emotions. And you handle your emotions to a degree where you become a value of other people. And don't forget that. Learn to handle your stress and handle your pressure. Because it becomes a security issue for women. And on that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you can like, you can subscribe, you can watch past videos of my book reviews, story time show, fitness playlist, and I will be doing more episodes on attraction tips for men. And I will see you all in another life. Oh, yeah. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, all that. And have a great day.